I'm Suzanne Limonio. Here are the stories making news at this hour. Firefighters find two people dead inside an apartment building. Mike Puccinelli reports the fire that happened there might be suspicious. Workers with the Cook County Medical Examiner's Office prepare to enter a burned out two flat to pick up two elderly victims. They were real good people and it's just sad that way they, they, they're gone. She's talking about Aldonia and Lewis White, who she served as their caretaker for the past four years. When she left them last night at 6.30, they were doing well. Then, less than six hours later, the building caught fire and filled with smoke. The two 90-year-olds were pronounced dead inside their home shortly after first responders made entry. Neighbors tried in vain to get to the couple. We tried to help them. We tried to get inside, but we couldn't do nothing. This woman didn't want to leave her name, but says she's a relative of the victims. I'm speechless. The granddaughter of the victims was at the scene but was too distraught to talk. Here she is being comforted with a gentle pat on the back. Sigler says Lewis was a military veteran who was no longer able to walk on his own. But despite that, he never lost his sense of humor. Mr. White, he was always cracking jokes and just being funny and loved to see. And she says Aldonia was a former nurse who turned from caring for patients to her husband and in some sense, the neighborhood. And Mrs. White, she was always strong about kids getting education and staying off the street and just wanted everybody just to, you know, be good people. Local news is making a comeback in Chicago. Three months ago, DNA Info shut down. Now some former editors and reporters are launching their own local news site called Block Club Chicago. Co-founder Seamus Toomey explains. So we decided maybe this is, uh, this is too good to just let go. So we formed Block Club Chicago. We were going to be a nonprofit neighborhood news site. Um, we were going to be a little bit smaller than DNA Info at the beginning, but we're hoping um, with support from the community, from our readers, um, that, that we'll be able to maybe even expand you know, hopefully soon. We're, it's going to be a subscription based. We think, um, I think the time is right now for, to, you know, to ask for some contributions from our readers. Coming soon, nonstop service from Chicago to Africa. Aaron Kennedy explains. Some big news if you want to fly direct from Chicago to Africa starting soon, you'll be able to. The Chicago Department of Aviation and Ethiopian Airlines just announced a partnership. It'll be nonstop service between O'Hare and Ethiopia, and it starts June 2nd. Uh, Ethiopian Airlines serves 55 destinations across Africa from its hub city in the country's capital. And finally, here's your forecast with Megan Glaros. Hey there guys, so we start off with definitely cold temperatures this morning. We're talking negative feels like numbers, but it's at least dry. Take a peek though, what happens if I put this into play? Boom, we get most of the day with pretty decent weather, a little bit of lake effect maybe, but then, yep, more snow, probably talking about one to three inches coming in, maybe from about 10 o'clock through until the early morning hours of tomorrow. It's gone by the time we hit 6 a.m., but could mean a bit more on the roads for tomorrow morning, so you just need to keep that in mind out there, guys. We're actually in a fairly active weather pattern. I'm going to put the seven-day into motion here for you and take a peek at this, guys. We've got snow kind of off and on a uh, little bit tonight into tomorrow, and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday. It's winter in Chicago.